Oh. Here's a nice view. Beautiful. Just doing a bit of training. Keeping fit. We circuit. Outside. People are asking me how I keep fit. There's a bar there. It's just really, uh, really lightweight. You know what I mean? Basics. Everything I do is basic, basic movements, compound movements, but I do functional training. <coughs> Don't want to go into explaining that too much, but it's functional movements. I'm not trying to build big muscles. I've always been well made anyway, I'm broad, I've got, I'm, I'm muscular, so I don't want to be bulky, I've got naturally thin legs, but I've got very strong legs, uh, you know, I'm always just looking to build and maintain strength, so the last thing I want to do is build muscle, muscle's useless to me, so it's non-functional, so I do functional training, uh, sharp, explosive type training, with things like this, I've got these, right, places like Lidl sell them, uh, they're dirt cheap to buy, you know, you can do different things with them, shoulder movements, you've got overheads, you know, stuff like that, triceps, put them behind your head, do squats, it's all different stuff, in and out, in and out, you know, there's loads of stuff you can do with them, lift them up and turn them for the shoulders, there's loads you can do guys. And as I say, everything that they're cheap out of Lidl's, that stuff's really cheap, cheap. That's a folding bar, breaks down into three bits so I can store it away. So everything I do is just about functional movements, dead easy. But also diet is really important. One of my favourite things in the world is mango. Uh, believe it or not, look at them. They're the best mangoes you'll get in the country. Unfortunately, they're fairly expensive. Uh, if you don't know about mangoes, you take them, you just cut them round like that, twist, and that's it, and you eat them. Very good for you, but they're pretty expensive, that's the only catch. So, hmm, so what you do with a mango, see that bit as well, I've said this before. You take it out, right, that's the seed, see that seed, you cut that seed open, right, and inside that seed is another seed, it's a brown seed that looks like a peanut or a walnut, you take it out, put it in a plant pot, stick it on top of your boiler, water it once a month and it will grow into a mango tree, that's a fact. What I also like guys, is watermelon. Eat gallons of stuff. Kiwis, clementines, we apples, pink ladies. I eat loads of fruit. I eat fruit all day long. The box of cherries today. I'll buy I'll buy raspberries, blueberries. I'll eat fruit three, four times a day. Every day of the week. I love fruit and I know fruit's expensive. But so is McDonald's and so is shite, so I eat good stuff. And uh, at 45, I'm probably approaching the best shape of my life, believe it or not. Both physically and mentally, I'm probably approaching the best shape of my life. And I don't say that lightly, because at times in my life I was extremely fit. But I probably wasn't as mentally focused, as mentally alert and as spiritually alert and, and as spiritually healthy as I am today. So that's why I say that, uh, yeah, I would say I'm in the best condition, I'm approaching the best condition ever. I reckon in another three or four months, I'm going to be probably as fit as I've ever been in my life. And being in the Royal Marines and having a, a life like that, I was an extremely uh, highly fit, highly motivated young guy in my 20s. But my fitness today, I'm mentally very, very strong. Why, why, why you might say, 
I'm a mentioning food. The reason I'm, I'm mentioning food, right? Excuse me for putting a sharp knife in my mouth. Uh, I mentioned food, guys, because see if you've got a very low quality diet, you cannot possibly function at your best. You can't, it's impossible. It's mathematically, scientifically, whatever you want to call it, impossible. If you put f poor quality food in all the time, you can't function correctly. Why? Simple. Your brain requires nutrients. Proper, balanced nutrients in regular dosages. Right? Uh, hydrolate, stuff like that. Uh, sugars, salts. You know, you, you require an abundance of these things. Minerals, vitamins, zincs, magnesiums. Uh, you require it in regular dosages throughout the day to keep your brain function and your brain activity correct. As the sun just came down, see that there? So when you eat crap or for breakfast you eat rubbish or you start your day with a, a Frosty's... Uh, a Frosty's biscuit or a, one of these picnic biscuit things that you get that are just chopped with sugar. You cannot possibly expect your brain to come to life and start functioning and responding to the, the way that it, it could when it was fed and dieted, you know, proficiently. It, it won't work. Uh, you, you will be sluggish in the mornings when you don't... Uh, diet correctly and have the correct morning intake to start you up properly. People say, oh, I can't eat in the morning. Train yourself to eat in the morning. Start small, little and often. Don't just try and force it all down, just small little mouthfuls. Do it in the go if you have to, do it in the journey to your workplace, do it whatever you're doing, but do it. And do it correctly, because if you don't, you're not going to be a good version of yourself. So when I'm training, right, it's all basic stuff. I don't, the weights I use are very small, very light. Why do I need to lift big heavy weights? That's what you do in a gym when you're trying to show off, excuse me, or match other gym goers. Right, that's a little bit of machismo, that's false economy. Uh, doesn't matter, bigger you are, doesn't mean anything. So we know that now. We're better educated than we've ever been. I love fruit, people will say fruit's full of sugar. That's fine with me. So is a bottle, of, a two litre bottle of Coke. I'd rather the sugar, the natural sugar from fruit, than anything else that's synthetic. Simple. Uh, I do enjoy a fish supper now and again. I have to be careful because I've got a gluttonous uh, appetite and I've told you this before. So I'll end up 20 stone and unable to walk if I ate everything that I wanted to eat. So I have to be selective and I have to just moderate my gluttony. Same as when I drank alcohol all those years ago. I was a binge drinker and I had a bottomless stomach. So I no longer suffer that problem. And now at 45 uh, next month, I'm approaching my prime. And I used to think my prime was at, you know, 26 to 28, but it wasn't. Because back then my diet wasn't great. Although I was fit and strong, my diet wasn't great. So now I'm sharp, I'm extremely sharp now, and I'm extremely focused, and I've got phenomenal clarity. I've got phenomenal clarity and vision and forward thinking, momentum, and abundance, because I work at it. And I don't do it periodically. I strive to maintain this every day. Do I have vices? Yes, I have vices. My coffee intake. I have to be, I have to remind myself that if I buy two boxes of grapes, a watermelon, a bag of apples and a bunch of bananas that it's to last me a couple of days, I try and eat it all in the one day because I'm gluttonous. But at least it's only that that I'm eating. At least it's not a pizza followed by a doner kebab washed down at night with six bars of chocolate and a two litre bottle of iron brew. 
everything in abundance guys or everything in moderation it's your choice my choice is moderation these days because I've got a binge nature and I'm aware of it so I'm aware of it so therefore I'm on top of it that's what I'm trying to get across these but I get a lot of questions and I get a lot of questions about how do you keep yourself fit right why do I keep myself fit or how do I keep myself fit they're two different questions why I'll answer first because I'm relatively I'm not fearful or I'm not scared but I am aware of decline I don't want to decline quickly in life and I don't want to be a 50 something male that goes and stands in the pub with the beer belly saying oh I'm past it I'm retired you know when I was a boy I was this fit and that fit I don't I don't like that kind of chat it's ridiculous I know guys in their 60s 65 70 that are phenomenally fit and I want to be in that club so that's the why uh, the how is quite simple I do everything that I can within my day within reason to maintain it so I don't overindulge in anything I make sure I move every day I don't sit on the couch watching box sets and stuff like that it's not me, never was me uh, lying around for weeks at a time I don't, I don't want to do it I've done it at periods of my life through depression I don't want to do it I avoid it like the plague I run I, you know not all the time because I'm getting older and the knees and the hips you have to protect them I do my cold dipping I'll do some weights I'll do anything that's manual I like to maintain it I love my press up stuff like that uh, I had a lot of issues with my shoulders used to have a, a chest like a gorilla but now I'm only about maintenance I'm not about muscle growth I'm not about tops off in the beach look at me don't really care what I look like I, as long as I'm physically uh, well conditioned and appropriately you know tuned for what I need to be that's all I'm looking for so surplus muscle or uh, you know like looking aesthetically like six pack and stuff and trying to starve yourself so that your body fat's at zero it's ridiculous and it's pointless for me that's for the stage and it's for other stuff uh, I'm not looking at anybody else and you know I doubt, I doubt anybody's looking at what I'm like so I just that's the kind of why that's the kind of how and the why uh, do the basics guys I could show you a wee quick circuit a 15 to a 20 minute circuit which is so simple, I do it outside, you can do it with anything, you can do it with tins of beans, do it with a rock, do it with a log, uh, there's, there's so many simple ways to train, just get up, put your trainers on, go out the back door and do something, if it's star jumps, some, some knee ups, uh, a little skip, do anything, just move, that's it, just move and get your heart rate up slightly, just do that and repeat, and if you're telling me for a minute, right, that you can't do that for 15 or 20 minutes, three or four times a week, you're, unless you've got a disability, which is extremely unfortunate, or a, a bad injury, then you're fibbing. And, but you're only fibbing to you, you're not fibbing to me or anybody else. You're only cheating yourself out of a better quality of life, okay? And even if someone's stuck and they have a disability, perhaps you're in a wheelchair, well, if your upper body, maybe we could help you. Maybe we could help you get some uh, movement and some upper body conditioning. I've got mates in wheelchairs, so there is something for everybody. And I'm willing to help anybody. Okay? So that's that. That's the, that's the how and the why. Uh, also, when you're fitter, as I, as I say every time, tasks are always easier when you're fitter, physically and mentally. Life is easier, getting up in the morning is easier, and getting at the finish line is easier, guys. I'm a massive adv advocate for keeping yourself in good condition. We get one job in life, and it is to maintain the body that you are gifted. That's your job. Before anything, that's your job. Don't abuse it. Don't poison it with toxins, and look after it. And that's the best advice that I can give you on fitness related to quality of life.
I'm very, very passionate about people maintaining themselves. And I wish I had put my message across to people 10, 15, 20 years ago. We've all got blemishes in our record with overindulgence. And uh, I'm no different from anybody else. But I'm fit. I'm in good condition. I'm ready to go. I feel strong. I've had injuries here. I've had surgeries here. But I'm pretty, pretty good shape for a guy my age. I've always got a bit of timber about the belly. Don't care. I'm not going to be in a catwalk or the, the front of, you know, the Little Woods catalogue anytime soon. So, there we go. Fighting fit. And I love my fruit. So, get some good mangoes and get healthy. All the best.